Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be the video, the first video, where we look at team of the season and some market movements. I've done a little bit of research looking back at last year, kind of looking it through a few cards and kind of taking that into this year's game and thinking about a few things regarding man of the match cards. Now this isn't the most popular thing that people are gonna be thinking about when team of the season is in full swing. Uh, but these cards are so rare, they're so fun to trade with, and you can honestly trade with them anytime you want to because of their rarity. Um, and during Team of the Season, last year, there was a lot of these cards that moved a lot because they were popular and they maybe didn't get a Team of the Season, or they're popular and so rare that any little bit amount of demand for that league makes them go up in price because of um, the hype around that league. So this year, the man of the matches, we've had man of the matches that are just the normal orange ones, and we've also had UCL man of the matches. So that just opens up more opportunity for certain cards to really rise. Even with Europa League man of the matches, um, there's a lot of contenders that have man of the matches that might not get team of the seasons. That's one place where we really need to look because if their best version or one of their best versions is a man of the match card and they do not get a team of the season when their league is out a lot of them last year went up in price so we're going to take a look at some of those cards today as you can see here i have a lot of man of the matches in this concept squad i enjoy trading with these cards on the daily my favorite one is Di maria i can you can buy this card all the time for right around a hundred thousand coins and sell it at some point within the next um you know two to three hours even for like a hundred um, 117 to 120,000 coins. Like his demand is really consistent like that on Xbox. Don't know about PS4, um, but all of these cards just fluctuate so stinking much. And there's so many great options that you can have, especially as we get these new uh, Champions League and Europa League man of the match cards. I wanna take a look at Footbin and go back to last year and talk about if, if you're somebody who wants one of these cards in your club, um, or this can actually be sort of a, a discard in form investing method. You could buy one of these cards um, when it gets panic sold at the beginning of the team of the season promotion and then sell it towards the end of the week when the Bundesliga is out or when the Premier League is out or whatever and make some profit off of that. So we're going to take a look at that right now. I have a bunch of man of the matches here on the transfer list, but let's head over to Footbin and actually look at some FIFA 18 players that were man of the matches. Now we have Hazard, Alexis Sanchez, Erickson, Muller, some Contes, Robbins. So you guys probably remember some of these cards. I'm gonna focus on ones that didn't get team of the seasons as well as we're gonna look at a couple that did. So we look at N'Golo Conte. This uh, 90 rated one he got later on in the year after team of the season, but the 89 rated. So at this point in the year, Conte had an upgraded gold card, this 89 rated CDM man of the match, and he had a team of the year card. So we're gonna look at this man of the match card now. Premier League Tots, I just looked it up. Premier League Tots came out on May 4th, May 4th of last year. So if you look at his price around May 4th, boom. Friday, May 4th, when Premier League Tots drops, he is 321K, he drops to 290. And you know that it shows 290, but there was definitely some panic sell in there. He probably, there was some listed up at like 275 at that one point. Um, in the panic sell, people selling everything to do packs, to open packs, to redo their squads around Team of the Season players. That's the kind of hype that Team of the Season has. And look what happens over the next week during Premier League Tots. He goes from 290 all the way up to 340 on Saturday of the Weekend League when people are using these teams in the Weekend League. This is a, you know, if you went out and you bought one Conte for 290k, chucked it in your club, and sold it for 330 the next weekend, that's an incredible one-week return. Not necessarily a card that you would want to go all in on or get a bunch of because he was very rare on the market and he just didn't have the opportunity to buy a lot of them. Um, but the reason why you saw this big rise was because of two things. One, this was the most affordable special version of Conte. If you go look at his team of the year card, his team of the year card in that time, it did drop, yes, but he did not get a team of the season. So it dropped right before team of the season starts on Friday the 4th. It's 1.1 million coins. Look what he's at at the end of that same weekend when the Fanta card went up. This card goes up over almost 200,000 coins up to 1.3 million. We'll look at team of the years here in a separate video soon. 
but that's the impact that not having a team of the season card will do. So who is it going to be this year? You know, as we look through this team, a lot of these guys are projected to get team of the season cards. Will Sergio Ramos get a tots? Probably. Will Suarez get a tots? Probably. Di Maria? Probably. Bernardo Silva? Yes. Laporte? Probably. Poulsen? I bet he will. Um, you know, even Thomas Muller? That's a maybe. Um, but a lot of these guys, and we can look at the UCL uh, Man of the Match cards as well, as we get closer to team of the season, you know, in the next two or three weeks, this can be an area where we look to maybe do like a sort of a discard inform investing method. It's just buy one when they get panic sold, throw it in the club. Everybody's making Premier League teams that first week of Premier League tots. Maybe uh, Hugo Lloris. He has some other special cards, uh, but they're considerably higher priced, 150k for, for both of those. Maybe this card dips to like 50k. If this card hits 50k, that's like ridiculous panic sell. Buy one, throw it in your club, and then he might even be 75k at the end of the weekend. If he doesn't get a Tots card, easy money. He, I mean, he's going to get a perfect, not a perfect link, but a, a green link with a Team of the Season Laporte card if he does get a Tots card. You know, stuff like that is just kind of a way where you, you can make coins with these cards just on top of trading them on the usual. Uh, this Di Maria here, look, it got binned at 108. I was hoping to get that on bid. Um, at at 100k and I was not able to do that but I'm gonna go throw this one with five minutes left I'll bid up to 105 on that and I can list it overnight for 120 it'll probably sell now at this moment when you're watching this video Muller, Ilicic, and Poulsen are still in packs Poulsen was actually extinct earlier this week he's down about 160 I have one in my club that I got for 150 and this Ilicic card really interests me because he's actually like the cheapest 88 rated player in the game right now he's like 40,000 coins a little bit under that and he's actually one of the cheapest 88s in the game Thomas Miller also interests me a lot now I'm gonna take you guys over to FIFA 19 to look at Thomas Muller here really quick because this card really really interests me for two reasons first off we're gonna look at his UCL this card is 36,000 coins the exact same price actually more expensive than this man of the match. This man of the match is orange, has a tad bit better statistics, and it's way more rare than a UCL card. This is a great investment, just out of packs, even though we're so close to team of the season. Great investment, great card to trade with. But regardless, his next highest rated special card is up here at 70,000 coins, which I know isn't a huge jump, but this card was a lot higher before this. The Carnival has hit like 80,000 coins when it was hyped up, you see back here 83, and it's kind of just dipped back down now in the hype. But this Man of the Match card is going to be very rare. This is going to be a great card to trade with. Thomas Muller, back to last year if you remember, had a Man of the Match card as well. It was 90 rated, it had better statistics, but still, the Bundesliga is hyped up this year. People will use this Muller card, he's a staple at Bayern. So Bundesliga Tots last year came out on the, when was it, the, the 18th, yes, it was May 18th, look at this right here. So Muller goes from 170k on the 18th, dips down on that first weekend to 134, and rises back up to 150. So again, another easy discard in, of sorts investment. Throw in your club, next weekend league comes, sell him and get rid of him. Now his, his rise was cut short because of the, the sell-off um, for the um, World Cup mode that happened the week after that, but... Muller himself actually did get a team of the season card. So we looked at this, we looked at the 90 man of the match again. It was panic sold to, down to 134,000 coins. If you wanted to use a Thomas Muller card, you had to pay how much for this new Tots card. He was over 400k in the first couple of days on the game. He dropped to 300, he dropped to 168 really fast, then rose back up. But in the moment, that first week, if you want to use Thomas Muller, you don't want to dish out 415k for this card. You're going to go back by the 90 and he had a lot of other special cards as well even an inform that was higher rated than the man of the match but the rarity of that man of the match actually this card was not in the game at that time disregard that but the 90 rated man of the match was so rare and it was the best card other than his tots at the time so it had a lot of hype around it that's the same thing that we're going to watch this year with these cards you find one that doesn't get into team of the season you're going to make some bank off of that um just because they're so rare that's the fun thing 
with these cars is that they're so rare you can just check their price throughout the day it's really easy to watch them fluctuate throughout the day you can list at a crazy price and they might get really rare at night and sell there especially with a card like Poulsen he was extinct um, and you know everybody wanted to try this card the first couple of days he was in packs people are going to want to keep trying him I mean the, the, the desire to try cards like that doesn't really stop right away now a card like Ilicic not as many people are going to try him. He does have the 90 shooting. He's got some good in-game stats. Um, but this Poulsen and the Muller, I think, really take the cake from me in these current set of Man of the Matches uh, that I think will rise out of packs. Now, I want to talk about the UCL and the Europa League Man of the Matches a little bit more as well. Um, even Team of the Knockout stage, I guess you could almost consider with this, but these Man of the Matches are in packs for so few amount of time that they're just so interesting to me. Now, Salah, if he gets a team of the season card, let's say it's a right wing, let's say they give him a 94 or a 95, maybe that card is like 800, over a million coins, 1.2 or 1.3 for the first couple of days. You might see this card dip down to 500,000 coins flat, and that's going to be another opportunity to buy that card. Lacazette really interests me because who gets in? Does he get in? Does Aubameyang get in? You know, there's a lot of strikers in the Premier League that have a lot of special cards this year. And that means that the ones that don't get in, that people still want to have in their endgame teams or link up with other people. Let's say Aubameyang doesn't get a team of the season. You're looking at this card right here as a great investment being so rare on the market and dropped a lot because he got the 91. Europa League team the knockout stage as well as Lacazette I mean some Arsenal guys get a team this season whoever that may be if there is one you link them up and you you know you make some profit off of that investment I'm not too sure who's going to be getting team this season yes we know there's going to be some obvious guys in there um, but we don't even know what team the season is going to exactly look like yet this year EA could change it up do it totally different and surprise us with what they're doing um, but this is going to be a pretty safe method to almost like a, do a club stock of Man of the Matches um, towards the end of the year when you see panic selling, when the actual team of the season is announced, and when you see that stuff happening um, inside of the game. You can really just go and snag one of these cards. Poulsen's probably going to get a team of the season. You could see this, this Man of the Match card honestly just might drop to like 120,000 coins. That would be a great pickup, even less than that, maybe like 100k, under 100k. That would be a great pickup because if his team this season is overpriced on the market, um, people are going to see that card and they're going to want to go try it. And they'll know that this card is also in the game. They can also try it. People just build Bundesliga teams during Bundesliga tots. People build Serie A teams during Serie A team of the season. And people build Premier League teams during Premier League tots and it's it's just obvious that that's the hype that's going on people build a new squad like each and every week with the new cards that come out and it's a great way to make coins and to um, not take advantage of that but just an opportunity to make coins from that um, just knowing that there's a lot of hype around that league that is currently um, in the team of the season that is you know out at that time so I'm gonna throw up this Di Maria that I got uh, for 105 List them up for like 119. It's not big profit, you know. It's not big profit. We're making a little bit less than 10k, like making 9,000 coins on that transaction right there, something around there. Nothing too big, but you do that over and over and over, as you'll see on my transfer list. I've uh, flipped a decent amount of these cards today. Not too many, just a few, um, but they're good cards to flip just because they're so rare and they're still good cards people like to use them and they're kind of honestly pretty cheap too you know you get a guy like Muller if you need a cheap attacking mid from the Bundesliga that's a good option right there but if you enjoyed this video smash a thumbs up on it this is kind of a different way this is like the uh the pre-game show for the rest of the team of the season videos because this is kind of a method that probably not a lot of people are going to talk about but it's just something to watch during team of the season some market movements you guys can keep your eyes out for and possibly make some extra coins to do more team of the season packs or just to be able to buy whatever team of the season player you're looking to buy when it comes out on the market if you enjoyed it again smash a thumbs up comment down below if you have questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out